When managing a ventilated patient, it's crucial to understand what you are trying to fix. Are you trying to improve oxygenation, ventilation, or both? Because these are two distinct goals and each is managed by adjusting different ventilator settings. To improve oxygenation, we focus on increasing FiO2 and PEEP. And to improve ventilation, we adjust the tidal volume and inspirator rate to control the uh, CO2 removal. Now, knowing which knob to turn allows you to make it a targeted effective changes based on your patient's needs without over complicating things. In hypoxic patients, I typically start with an FiO2 of 100% and a PEEP value of 10 cm H2O. From there, I aim to wean the FiO2 as quickly as possible, targeting equal or less than 60% to minimize the risk of oxygen toxicity. I avoid reducing PEEP until FiO2 is down to 60% or less. If I cannot lower FiO2 safely, I will consider increasing PEEP value usually in increments of 2 to 4 cm centimeter H2O to improve oxygenation. But keep in mind, raising PEEP will also increase your peak inspiratory pressure. In patients with ARDS, early prone positioning is a key intervention that can significantly improve oxygenation in these patients. How about when it comes to improving ventilation or CO2 removal? The two main variables we adjust are the tidal volume here and the respiratory rate because they control minute ventilation. Now, always use predicted body weight, not actual body weight to calculate to set the tidal volume. In ARDS, we aim for a lung protective strategy, six mil per kg of predictable body weight tidal volume. In most other condition, a range of six to eight mil per kg of predicted body weight is acceptable. Now, if more ventilation is needed, it's generally safer to increase the respiratory rate rather than the tidal volume to reduce the risk of volutrauma. But remember that the higher the respiratory rate, the shorter respiratory cycle is, which affects the IE or inspiration-expiration ratio. 